Veterans Day is coming up on Saturday, and it is time for us to let the vets who have served this country so valiantly know that they are appreciated. We can do that every day, but we're going to put a little extra emphasis this weekend on it. We have some active duty members with us, and they are some very talented musicians. Uh, joining me now are Great Lakes Navy Band Lieutenant Commander Chris Cornett and musician third class Robert Totten. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having and us. We appreciate you being here, and as I've told you in the break, and we can say it all day, thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. My so, um, a lot of times people don't think about being a musician uh, when they think of military service. What can you tell everyone about being a musician in the military and, you know, how you decided this would be something you would do? Oh, well, I mean, a lot of us uh, study a long time to become musicians mm -hmm. uh, before we join, and it's a way for us to uh, use the talents and the skills we've built uh, to serve our country. Yeah, my dad would always say, well, you know you could be a news anchor in the military. <laughs> uh, where do you get to perform? Do you get to do it on military bases uh, and post? Do you, do you do it for civilian spots or maybe a combination of both? All over, yeah, combination of both. So a lot of our mission is uh, supporting the troops with uh, ceremonies, change of commands, retirements, funerals sometime. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now, the vast majority of Navy Band Great Lakes are playing for the graduation ceremony of a new class of sailors who are graduating boot camp today. And congratulations to all of them. Uh, I was saying priorities, you know, <laughs> but we're glad that you're here. Um, so tell me a little bit about your service. Uh, you said you have a history in, in two branches. That's correct. Yeah, I started as a musician in the, in the Air Force, the Air National Guard Band in Washington State. And uh, after a couple years of that, I switched over to active duty Navy. That was in 1997, and uh, all this time later, I'm still serving, and will be retiring in a couple of years. Amen. Okay, and then uh, you're about four years in. That's right. The complete opposite of the spectrum right now. <laughs> so, brand new as far as four years ago. Actually, this month is four years, and so uh, I've been doing what you see here today, playing the piano, which is my job for the Navy, and having a great time, but hoping to continue doing it. How'd you find out that this was something you could do in good, the military? Good question. I was actually in the middle of grad school at the time, and I saw a poster saying, Navy musician. I was like, what is that? So, skipped a long story. I got to audition, got in, and here we are. I love it. I love it. You get to serve your country and I'm sure pay off some of those loans too. That's right. Amen. Okay. <laughs> so what are the plans for Veterans Day? You talked about ceremonies that you oh, all goodness. are well, part of. Well, for us, it started almost a week ago. Uh, this, this period goes on for a while for mm -hmm. us. We started, we've done a couple of parades. We're doing a few more. We'll be at, uh, uh, we'll be at the stadium uh, playing for a ceremony for the city. Uh, later on, we've got a uh, brass band appearing uh, at the Blackhawks game. Uh, we got a few performances at various schools around the area as well. Uh, you name it, we're doing it. Well, we appreciate it. Um, we don't just want to talk about the music. We'd love to hear some. I'd love to hear some too. All right, that's your cue. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. That was musician third class Robert Totten. We also have Lieutenant Commander Chris Cornett here with us today. Thank you again for bringing your talents here and serving our country. We appreciate you. Thank you, Thank you for having us. And happy Veterans Day already. You too. That's right. All right.